maybe NATO is helping because they are nearby. Mm. All the neighbor countries here are NATO members already. Yes. yes. So maybe if they see a good cause, they will fight back at Russia, and then maybe other countries she will join in as well. Oh. If many countries cut ties and sanction, maybe yes. Russia will be very isolated. Yes, yes. But Putin relies on China. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I like-minded see. buddy. But that's also because uh, some bad uh, politics before that. Oh, yes. That pushed China and Russia together. Before they were not together. Oh. They were kind of uh, rivals. Ah, I see. And now they are, you know, buddy, buddy. <laughs> That's also one of the reasons why Russia is so emboldened. More aggressive, like fear in nothing. Just go in like that. Yes. Right. Just give yes. an order and go in the border and then shoot the border guard. Yes, master. yes, master. And go into Kiev and all that. They are a little bit slow because of the strong resistance of the Ukrainians. Right, yes. Mr. Otherwise, they would have taken the capital already. Oh. But the president is fighting back hard. He is out with the people. He said, we are still here. Yes. Mm-hmm. We yes. will fight for our country. Right. Ian, I was very touched to see the news. They're fighting with whatever minimal they have. Yeah, they are very yes, brave. Yes, yes, very touching. So brave and so strong. Mm-hmm. Love for the country, so strong. And hate injustice, so strong. Even though they are not a match for Russia. Yes, that's really bravery, Master. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right. Such a brave and noble race of people deserve the international community to support them, to help them, to protect them. Yes, Master. I mean, they know that they're going to die. It's not like, okay, you go in the battle, you go into combat, and maybe you die, maybe not. Yes, yes, Master. But this young... Soldier, he went there to blow up the bridge wow. to delay the invasion, the, the movement of the Russian troops. Yes. Yeah, and he knew that doing that, he would die together with the bridge. Right. Yes, Master. So concerning the normal people in such a situation, I mean, normal thinking, and just to go and die like that for his country, to protect his people, it's really, really... Very, very heroic, very touching. Yes, exactly. Yes, and then the other 13 people in that Snake Island also. Yes. All they have to do is just put down their weapon and go out and be free. Yes. Putin even promised whoever doesn't fight, just put down the weapons and then they can go home to the family. But they did not. Right. They did not. So these people, they really brave, really noble for their position. Yes, exactly. Because they are not like spiritual practitioners. They just love their country and they want to protect their people. Yes. And at least to protect the honor of their work and the ideal that they are living for. Yes, Master. And at that moment, it's a test of their courage, of what they've been trained for. Right. Test of their noble spirit. If I were putting. I would just bow my head to them and live immediately. Insane. The Russian soldiers are forced to go there to fight, whether they like it or not. But these Ukrainian soldiers, they sacrifice for their ideal, for their country, for their people. Yes. Knowingly, courageously, heroically. How can a person go in and want to invade this kind of so beautiful, a race of people's country. Yes, Master. Must be a shameless, a moralist, a lowest of the low life person. Yes, Master, I agree. So, from the worldly standpoint, I salute these soldiers and others also, not just these few. Okay, they're fighting. And their president also, even though he wasn't a politician. Yes. He was just uh, like an artist, a star, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah. Comedian. A comedian. And he he stayed with his people. He went onto the street of Kiev and took video by himself. Yes. Only with his closest governmental workers, advisors. Yes. And told his people that, I'm here. Yeah. Oh, I really like that. Because uh, there are some false information saying he ran away already for himself. Yeah. But he went out and said, I'm here for his people to feel more supported and and more high-spirited. Yeah, and like example. Yeah, such a president deserves 
all the praise of all other leaders and help. Right, yes. Master. Even uh, Biden offered him to evacuate to America or wherever. And he said, no, I don't need a right. I need ammunition. He refused to leave his people. Yes. So you never know who is who. Yeah, you think he may be just a comedian, just an artist. But his spirit is really noble. It's really presidential. Yes, I think so. Very, very presidential. Make very good impression. Yes, very good impression. So if the international people don't support them, don't help them, then I think it's all shameless. Yes, right, Master. I'm not advocating for war. You know that. All of you know that. But the innocent people need to be protected. For sure. Yeah. If they themselves volunteer, want to leave the country and or want to surrender, that's another issue. But they want to fight, and they are fighting. The people need to protect them in any way they can, NATO or not. Right. And what for the UN is there? Yes, Master. And what for NATO is there? Yes. Such a noble race of people like that. Why do they have to put the label NATO on them in order to be protected? Mm, yes. Mm. Should act more humane. Yeah. yeah, that's why I run a text on our TV. Yes, Master. Telling Russia to go home. Right. We do that, all of us. And also, you know, we pray for Ukraine. We really mean it. Yes, we do pray. Mm. I'm really, really impressed and touched by their spirit of dedication for their country and their people. Putin is a coward, a bully, and bad boy. Very, very bad boy. Yes. Just for his ambition, just for his ego, he sent his people to die. Many, uh, about three, four thousand Russian soldiers die already. Wow. And many of the tanks were destroyed and some helicopter shot down. The Ukrainians, they fight back. Yes, yes. I'm also surprised because Ukraine is a small populated country. Yes. Yeah. And it's not like a war ready. And they've fought back with whatever they can, even though the international community did not send any help at that time. Yes. Maybe they're sending it now. I read that the Germans sent something before they did not want to. They you turn now and send, send uh, like a weapon. Yeah. I see. But Russia has uh, some very highly deadly weapons. Like they have something that could evaporate human body. Human. Oh, wow. Yes, Master. Send them into smithers, into nothing. Oh, wow. Can you imagine that? And they also have a nuclear arsenal, and they are threatened the whole world with it. And I don't know why the international community puts up with this. Yeah, of course, they're also worried that if the two nuclear powers, like, pitch their head against each other, then it could be... Very, very fatal for the whole world. Right. Yeah. Yes, Master. Yeah, that is the thing. That is also a problem. Probably that's why they hesitate. But otherwise, what? Let Putin be the boss of everybody? No. Also, not much choice, huh? Mm. So this evil Putin, he, I think he knows all that. But he's going to lose. Yeah, I don't think such a person should win the war and would win the war. Yes. He might die soon also. Oh, wow. And then hell will welcome him with all kinds of torture, equipment that he could never imagine, even in his dream. Mm. If he doesn't stop now, no one can help him. He will be in hell forever and torture forever. Oh. Even when all this sin winds down and is finished or lessened, he will have to be reborn in another kind of world where he will be terrified, mm. terrorized all the days of his life. And again and again, in another different dark corner of the universe. Yes, Master. Not just one hell waiting for him. Many, many hells. Mm. Different levels. Wow. Oh, my God. Scary. Yeah, I know. Nobody knew that. Because the physical body is good, but it obstructs people's eye. You know, the heavenly eye that we have, the third eye, so they cannot see anything. Yes, yes. So they don't believe heaven or hells exist. Even the pop say there's no hell. The, yeah. the pop, uh, the pea fancies. Right, yes. Yeah, yes. my God. <laughs> Such a darkness prevailing mm. in this world. That, oh, that the majority of people don't understand anything anymore. And then they yes. think they can just rule over the world. Mm. Oh, at what price? They never know how much they are killing, murdering their own soul and spirit. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, it yes. won't be long until he knows it. Oh. Why, he's not young anymore anyway. Mm. Yes, Master Older Chung. Older, he should enjoy his children, grandchildren, or mm. go do whatever, like all the senior people do. No, oh, but he wants to be famous. Mm. He wants to go down in history as like a Tsar, you know, mm-hmm. who has brought back the Soviet Union. Mm. Oh, it's a dream. Uh, he's delusional. He's, he's possessed by evil. Understand. And Master. crazy and delusional. Mm. The whole world against him now. Right. Even all the countries stopped the Russian airline and refused Russian airline, even the bar and the restaurant, they throw away vodka. They don't sell oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and this is something that earns them a lot of money. Wow. They pull it all yes. out and they sell somebody else's vodka. Mm. Ukraine's vodka, for oh, example. I I'm not advertising. I, you know, you know, I'm against alcohol and all that. Right. But even all these people, mm. not a high class in society or anything famous, they would know what's right from wrong. Yes, yes.